Hello, it's Dr. Triple Seven. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys the best way to send text messages from your computer. Now, there's really only one real requirement for this video to work. You need to have an Android phone. As of right now, iOS is not supported, so only Android this will work on. So you will need an Android phone. The second thing is needing an internet connection, which if you're watching this video, I'm sure you have. So we'll get started on the phone. So the app we're using for both the desktop and phone is Pushbullet. So Pushbullet is a free app on the Play Store. Go ahead and download it and then fire it up. The configuration is really easy. Um, the first thing you'll want to do is sign in with either Google or Facebook. I would choose Google, in my opinion. And then if you haven't signed in before, you'll have to give it um, permission to access your account. So the next thing we'll have to do is give it notification access. So that is pretty easy as well. Simply press the notification button there. Uh, check it off in the next window coming up here. And then press OK. So all we have to do really is choose if we want to send the notifications on Wi-Fi or not. I choose to have the notifications displayed only while on Wi-Fi in the settings area uh, because I'll only be using this texting thing when I'm at home anyway. By default, it will send text messages to your computer. So you really configuration is done and now it is time to head over back, back to the computer and continue on. So once you set up Pushbullet on your phone, now you have to set it up on your computer. So what you need to do is head over to pushbullet.com backslash apps or slash apps, which I'll have on the link in the description below. And you go ahead and download uh, the Pushbullet for your computer. So they have a couple different versions. You can, a couple different ways you can do this. You can install it either um, Chrome, Firefox, Opera, or Safari, or you can go with Windows or Mac uh, local install. So instead of an add-on, and they do actually have an unofficial Ubuntu version, which um, is independently updated. So it may not support texting yet, but will be added soon. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Windows version, and I prefer it compared to Chrome's add-on. So I've downloaded it already, so I'll go ahead and install it. So once you fire up Pushbullet, it'll ask you to sign in. So uh, we chose to sign in with Google on the Pushbullet app, so we're going to do the same thing again. So click Sign In with Google, it'll pull up a URL, and choose your Google account once again. And then you'll have to basically allow it to read your contacts, accept. And now we're good to go. So I have used Pushbullet before, so I do have a couple different um, devices set up. But you will notice now that you should have a desktop um, or Chrome ver um, Pushbullet option, and then your, your phone Pushbullet option. Now I'm not going to go through all of Pushbullet's features, uh, because it is a pretty awesome app in general. But we're going to stick to basically the texting part. So if you head over to the SMS tab and make sure that your the proper phone is selected, give it a couple seconds and you should see all your text messages come in. Now simply all you have to do is type in a message to a person and send it and you're good to go. So for example here, if I go ahead and, and type to myself and send it. So what happens is it's going to send it by sending it over Wi-Fi to your phone, and then your phone will send it. So as you can tell, it's not too slow at all, and you actually do receive notifications, and so you will have to set that properly though. So if you go over to settings, and you can go over to a notification screen and set it to the proper screen, you can see over here that we do get a notification uh, with the message. So actually when someone texts you, you can, it'll pop right away, and you can reply to them. And that's pretty much it. So it's a full screen or it's a full uh, window mode here. You can take it and pull it around, uh, switch between conversations, no problem. Um, and like I said, that is pretty much it. So this is, in my opinion at least, or in pretty much everyone's opinion, the best way you can send text messages from your computer. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, leave a like. If any questions, comments, or concerns, leave those below as well. If you've never heard of Pushbullet, definitely check it out. Uh, like I said, it has a lot of really nifty um, features, like receiving your notifications from your phone, your computer, and across all your phones and all your devices. So, like I said, it's a pretty awesome application. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you did enjoy, and I will see you in 
my next YouTube video. This is the Hacker 0007, and I'm signing off.